Um, the title of my message is Our Works and Rewards. Our Works and Rewards. I mean, if you know that, uh, from the very young age, we expect things. When we do good, we expect things from our life. That's what we expect in our life. Every time when we do something good in, your, in, your, in, in the class, you know, when I was studying, when I get a good grade, uh, my seat changes. I will be in the, in the front seat. If you are the first rank holder and your first, uh, first person, you will sit in the first. That's where they were they, they're rewarding those days. Nowadays, it's different. Great system is totally different. So everything that we do have a reward. Hallelujah. And how many of you know that everything that we do in this world has an eternal effect? Let me repeat it. Every action that you have today in your life have a reaction in eternity. That means if you do something here, it matters in the eternity. Let me, let me read a, a scripture portion for you, then I will continue into my message. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 through 16. I'm going to read it for you. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 12 through 16. Now, if any man builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw. Each man's work will become evident. From the day will show it because it is to be revealed with fire. And the fire itself will test the quality of each man's work. Verse 14. If any, man were any man's work which has built on it remains, he will receive a reward. If any man's work is burned up, will suffer a loss, but himself will be saved. Yet so as through fire. Do you not know that you are the temple of God, that the Spirit of God dwells in you? Hallelujah. Here, here Paul talk about building. He's compared the, the work to a building. We are building on a foundation. The foundation was laid by Jesus Christ. That he is the foundation. He is the cornerstone. It was rejected by everybody. And he become our, our foundation now. And, and Paul is writing on that foundation you can build with a certain different kind of materials. And he says he can build with gold or you can build your works with silver or precious stone. That is one category. Then the other category is wood, hay, and straw. And he says that, you know, our works will be tested. Like, you know, those who work here, you know that every year or quarterly or annually, there is a review process. We have a, a review for our appraisals. We, we appraise things. How We review our words. And based on the review, you get a promotion or you get a pay increase. Hallelujah. Likewise, when the time we are born into this world, the time that we die, we do a lot of things with our hand. Not only with our hand, we, with our mouth, with our eyes, with our, with our, uh, with our legs. We use our organs to, to do something. And each work is done by every organ will be tested in the final day. And how, how is the testing? The testing will be fire. Hallelujah. The fire. And then it, Paul is saying a man's work has built on things that remains. That remains. That means if you build your work with gold, silver, and precious stone, it will stay. How many of you know that? Uh, I looked it up, I looked it up, I found that, you know, gold and silver and stones, for gold to melt, it need up, up to 2,000 Fahrenheit. If you, if you put a gold in a small candle fire, it won't melt. It won't melt. It, up to 2,000 Fahrenheit, when, when we raise the temperature to 2,000 Fahrenheit, yes, it melts, but what happens is, it only purify it. It becomes little more richer, little more purified, little more shining. Nothing happened to the gold. Gold 
become so pure when it goes through the fire. Same with the, same with the platinum. Uh, platinum is 3200 Fahrenheit. You know, but diamonds, you know, the precious stones, you know how much temperature it needs to be melted or it, it, to go to at that level? It's 6,000 Fahrenheit. Hallelujah. And it's the same with the gemstones and rubies and sapphires and similarly melting point. That is a melting point. But even if it melts in that temperature, nothing happens to it. It remains. It becomes pure and richer and richer in there. But think about the other three stuff. It says wood. How many of you know wood? Wood is, we call it firewood. It's to, it's to make fire, we use it. You know, to cook, to, to make us, keep us warm. And to do other things, we use wood. As, what happened to the wood when it goes to fire? How much fire you need? You need a, a mastic, a small amount of fire. If you put it on the wood, wood it will burn. And there is another one, hay. Hay is used, it's a, it's a dried grass. It is used to feed the animals. And how much fire you need to, to, to burn it? If, you, if you, the fire goes nearby it, it burns, it burns, it goes. And then after the fire is gone, what is left there? Just ashes. There is nothing, nothing of the same kind is there. Then the next one is straw. You know, straw, don't confuse with hay and straw. Straw is the, is the waste, the waste of the wheat. After wheat has been processed, there is a waste come that is a straw. You know what they use it for? They use it for bedding for animals in the farm. That's what they mainly use it. It's so comfortable, you know. That among all those things, you know, most soft thing, most bulky things are the, the, the hay and the straw. Think about it. It shows, you, you know, a little bit of, you know, if you pay a little bit of money, you get a big, Thing, big bundle of hay and straw. But if the fire goes nearby, it will bring, it will bring that stack into ashes. So here Paul is saying, a work has been compared with gold, silver, and precious stone, wood, hay, and straw. Hallelujah. And how many of you, how many of you know that we play multiple roles? The moment we born into, into this world, he play a role of a son or a daughter. Hallelujah. You know, the first role we play as a son or a, or a daughter. That is the role we play. That is the role we play. And we play that role for a long time. Then we become, we become husband or wife. Then we become father or mother. Then we become, we become brother or sister. Then we become grandmother or grandfather. And we play multiple roles in our personal life. Hallelujah. And many things that, you know, I always thought this. Many things that these roles, when we play these roles, we don't have any reward. But that is not. Let me come to that. Hallelujah. Every role that you play have a reward, have an eternal reward waiting for you. And understand this. Then we play another role in our, in, in our profession. Some of you are nurses. Some of you are doctors. Some of you are accountants. Some of you are, you know, you do something for your living. It doesn't matter what you do for reward. It's not based on, based on how, how higher your position is. Maybe you are a manager. Maybe you are just an employee. It doesn't matter for the reward. The reward is based on or measured on something else. I'm going to come to that. So, Everyone play a wider role, a role in our personal life. The first role we play, son or daughter. The second role we play, brother or sister. The third one, we become husband or wife. Then we become father or mother. Then we become, you know, father-in-law or mother-in-law, grandmother or, or, or grandfather. And, you know, nieces and nephews and, you know, many roles we play. And in the church, we become you know, we, we have a role. We, I'm a, we are a pastors and elders and deacons and Sunday school teachers and, and you, know, you know, people who work in, in an usher, ushering department, in the media, in all roles. We play roles in everywhere. These are our works. These are our works. All these works will be, will be gathered together at the end and brought to the presence of God. And there is one thing coming to test it. What is that? It is called the fire. Hallelujah. The fire. So when the fire goes through it, you know, people bring all kind of things. I did this, I did this, I did this, that. Hallelujah. And the fire will test it. 
Hallelujah. How many of you know that, you know, uh, in Exodus chapter 31, verse 2 to 5, I'm going to read it so you will understand. And then you will know every role that you play have a reward. Many people say that, you know, I'm, I'm playing a role of a son. Will I get a reward? Yes, you will. But you have to play it good. Let me tell you, uh, Exodus chapter 31, verse 2 through 5. I'm going to read it. Here, see, I have called by name Bezalel, the son of Uri and the son of Hur, the tribe of Judah. So God called one person from the tribe of Judah. And, and, and verse 3 says, I filled him with the spirit of God in wisdom. So this person was called, this is the first person that was called and filled with the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament and to do something, to do what? Not to preach gospel, not to serve in the kingdom, not to serve in the, in the tabernacle, not to serve in any place. But read the next words. It says, he filled him with the Spirit of God, with wisdom and in understanding, in non-knowledge, all kind of craftsmanship. Think about it. Why God need to fill this person to be best craftsmanship? To be a best man in what he is doing. Look at here. To make artistic designs of work in gold, silver, and bronze. Hallelujah. That means, he, you know, think about it. He's a, he's a blacksmith or a, or a goldsmith or, or, you know, somebody who works with the alloys and, 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 and steel. And he is a craftsman. Why he need God's, God's spirit upon him? And he says, and cutting stones and uh, for setting and in the carving of wood that he may work in all kind of craftsmanship. Look at here, how much God is interested in your works. Everything that you do, God is interested. Every role you play, God is interested in it. So that means... Let me talk to sons and, and daughters. That's the first position, role you play. You know, you know how you get reward? When you become a good son, when you become a good daughter, then only you will get the reward. So let me, people who are hearing sons and daughters, we all are sons and daughters of somebody. Hear me. God is interested in your role. God is interested in your role. Be a good son. Be a good daughter. Love your parents. You have a reward in heaven. Your, your work will be trusted. The comments that you make off, off, off camera, off live, and that matters. God, God sees it. What do you talk about your parents? Will, will, will be measured. Will be tested in heaven. So be good sons and good daughters. You will get the reward. Because God is interested. In the Old Testament, God is interested, anointed people to do certain things, excellence, in excellency. They want, God wanted to do, when they do the work, they, God wanted to do in excellence. It's best job. Now, we are moving on to husband and wife. You've been a husband for 20 years, 30 years, 10 years, 5 years. You've been a wife for 10 years to 50 years. But what God is looking, not just playing the role, but play a good role. Be a good husband. Be a good wife. Go, be a good, good, good. Make improvement. See, analyze it. Because your work will be tested. Hallelujah. I heard many, many, many wives, they, they, they talk bad about their husband. Oh, he's lazy. He don't do that. They talk about their wife also. Same thing. He, she is like that. She is like that. You know what? Instead of talking about it, be a good person. Be a good husband. Be a good wife. Improve it. See, analyze it. How I am standing. Because one day, your work as a wife and a husband, as a son and a daughter will be tested. That's what the Lord is saying. It will be tested. It will have an eternal reward. Hallelujah. Many think that, many Christians think that, oh, you want to be a good Christian. And I want to pray, I want to fast, I want to preach, I want to do this. Then you will, no, 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 no. Don't just play that role. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter. Hallelujah. You have to play the same role, same way at home, at, at any places. Anyone you come in contact with it. That's what it is. Because your work matters. It will be tested one day. It will be tested one day. Yeah.